And this is uh, the good person test that I mentioned earlier with like, uh, who's the smartest person in this group? And then you say, who, then you find out who's not, or who is, whoever gets the trick, all right, we got the smartest, who's the best person? And like I said, normally the group will identify, the fingers tend to fall on the same person. Oh, you know, he's a choir boy over here. And uh, so, um, choir boy, good person, yeah. What about you? And the one that's talking up the most is the one that's gonna be able to take a little bit of teasing from the rest of the group. So that's the one that you'll, you'll invite, you'll ask. So, uh, what about you, you know, how do you compare? Um, and then we will say there's good person tests, three, four easy questions. If you want to see how you do, we can take the, the test. First question is, have you ever told a lie? So I don't ask someone, do they want to take the test? But I am watching them. If they don't seem interested, if, they, if it looks like I'm bugging them, I'm going to say, hey, you know, um, hope you enjoy the track and I've, I've got to go. Uh, it's nice to meet you but you'll know by their response if they want to take the test or not. The default response to any question is no. So if I say, do you want to take the test? Most people are going to say no. But if I say, it's a quick, easy test, you can see how good you are. First question is, have you ever told a lie? And they're like, oh, that's an easy question. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, yeah, I told a lie. Okay, so what do we call people that tell lies? Uh, they're liars. It's like, all right, you're doing good on the test. You're getting the right answers here. Um, pretty smart, too. Uh, so have you ever sold anything? No, I haven't done that. Well, you just told me you're a liar. So, you know, kind of keep it humorous. And how can I believe you? You just told me you're a liar, right? And so, okay, yeah, I guess I've stolen something. You know, if you burned a CD and you copied it on a test, what would that make you? Uh, if you've stolen something, I guess that'd make me a stealer. Well, stealer is a football player in Pittsburgh. Okay, uh, thief. Yeah, thief. Um, got another question. Have you ever used God's name in a way it's not appropriate? Yeah, I've done that. You know, that's called, starts with a B. Uh, I don't know, no, blasphemer. Okay. Uh, so now, my name is Brad, by the way. Mark. Mark. It's good to meet you, Mark. So, Mark, by your own admission, I'm not saying judgment because I did not do well on this test myself, but by your own admission, you're a liar, thief, and a blasphemer. So, you didn't do real good on the test, did you? Uh, no, no. No. <laughs> um, well, like I say, I didn't either, so I'm not saying here in judgment, but uh, it's important to consider on the day of judgment when you stand before God, do you believe he'll find you innocent or guilty? Um, I guess I'd be, I guess I'd be guilty. Guilty, Does that based really on matter? being a liar, thief, and a blasphemer, yeah. And so. Uh, I'm not that I, bad. Well, I'm not that much of a speeder. But I did get a ticket for 80 and a 55. Now, I'm not that bad. You know, my friends that go 95. But I still get the ticket, right? Because it's guilty or not guilty. So, I'm not that bad of a thief. I only stole like a 68 Camaro. It's not like I stole a Porsche or a Lexus. Still a car thief. But it's guilty or innocent. So, in or out, pass or fail, heaven or hell. And it's forever. So, it's important to think about these things now. Uh, so hypothetically, if you were to be found guilty, would it be heaven or hell? And of course, the obvious answer would be hell. And does it concern you? And for some people, I'll say it doesn't. But if you uh, talk about it for a little while, you'll find out that it really does concern them. And it's allowing people just to kind of linger on that question, you know? And they're like, ah, it doesn't bother me. Well, is hell a good place or a bad place? Well, it's a bad place. Uh, how long is you know you ever thought about eternity? Eternity is a pretty long time. I was just thinking the other day, we're gonna be dead longer than we're alive. Which is kinda odd because it seems like I've been alive for as long as I can remember. But eternity is going uh, forever. So uh, let's see. Been through now we're gonna go to the gospel. Okay, so we've been through three different ways to kind of get to that point of does it concern you that you might go to hell when you die? And the other question would be, would you like to be sure you're at peace with God? So there's two different questions basically getting the same thing, and there'd be other questions too you might be able to think of, but finding out where the person's ready to hear, or if they're just like, hey, you know, this is all kind of nice, thanks a lot.